the first indicator that he might be a problem was he was very adamant about being there while we do the job. And the funny thing is, like, we've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of jobs. And a lot of people are like, oh, do I need to be there? We tell them no. They're more than happy to let us go because we don't have to go into the backyard or anything. So I explained that to him. He's like, no, I want to be there. So we're like, okay. Quote IQ has teamed up with the window cleaning resource to give away a window cleaning business starter kit. All you have to do is download Quote IQ on the Apple or the Google Play Store, and you have to become a premium or platinum subscriber to be entered to win. Be sure to check out the WCR for all your window cleaning needs. We are going to be announcing the winner on August 1st. So instead of us just parking and waiting, because it was the last appointment for the day and there was like a little bit of a window, we didn't want to just park on the road and wait. We went ahead and went there, parked in front of the house for a little bit, and then about 15 minutes before he arrived, we decided to go knock on the door, start getting equipment, ladders and stuff set up. So we knock on the door, wife answers the door, super nice, super sweet, shows us around, gives us um, permission to get up on the roof and get started. Um, as my partner Buddy's climbing up on the roof, he notices a broken tile right off the gate before he even gets on the roof. Toss on my phone, he takes a picture, he takes a quick little like clip and tosses me my phone back down. As I get up, I notice two or three more broken tiles too, right? So I take pictures of those and document those as well. Then we clean the panels. Um, guy pulls up as we're wrapping it up. I hop down. I was like, hey, I just want to let you know. Uh, we noticed you had a couple broken tiles up there. And I got a couple pictures I wanted to show you. And he's like, oh, that's where they weren't broken yesterday. And I was like, oh, you you were up there yesterday? He's like, well, I was up there yesterday and I didn't see any broken tiles. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe like you didn't notice them. Maybe it's from the installers. But if you have some tiles, I could fix them for you. And he's like, you're really acting like uh, the way a guilty person would act. And I'm like no i was like you look i mean honestly like in a in a friendly at this point it's still pretty friendly you know at least my tone and demeanor and energy at this point is still friendly i was like hey you know like why would i tell you if i broke it you know like why would i tell you you had a broken tile if i broke it you know kind of like joking you know like you know what i mean like it doesn't make sense and he's like that sounds like something someone guilty would say and i was like do you want to see so then my partner takes him up on the roof so he could see right and my partner was like i wanted him to get on the roof so I could see the way he walks on those tiles because I can guarantee it was probably him. And he just maybe he didn't notice it or whatever. So we got him on the roof and the way the dude was walking was like indicative of how tiles get broken when you don't walk on them correctly. There's a certain way to walk on these tiles. You can't pivot on the ball of your foot. You got to keep it flat footed and all that. Long story short, he comes down, he's pissed off. And I'm telling him, look, you know, if you have some tiles, I'll get up there and fix it. And again, he does the whole like, oh, if you're if you're not guilty of breaking it, why would you offer to fix it? And at this point, I'm like, look, there's no saving this interaction at all. So I'm like, look, do whatever you got to do. We're leaving. We're done here. He's like, well, you did a great job on the panel because, you know, I got on the roof. He's like, oh, you did a great job on the panel. So I'm not going to not pay you. I'm like, dude, I don't want your money, dude. At this point, like, keep your money. So he's like trying to give the money to Buddy. And I'm like, dude, we're leaving. So he just like throws the money at us and we just load up and we just leave, right? It's just a stark difference between the two different ways that it could go. It could swing either way. And the only thing that you could do is to really document yourself going up. Even if it's with your, your cell phone camera, just as you're going up at the end of the job, you could delete it if you have to, you know, but got to protect yourselves, man. Liability wise and safety wise.